I see my role on, on just about any show I do as someone who takes something that's very difficult and make it look as easy as possible. I'm Chuck Woolery, and I hope all your dates are good ones. Two people go to dinner, it's a blind date, they come back separately and tell you what happened to them. It's that simple, folks. We'll do that in two minutes, two seconds. Be right back. What is it about reality dating television shows that we all love to watch? We like to see things played out that we believe are real in front of our eyes. And we like to see the good and the bad and the ugly, too. Chuck actually got his game show started in 1975 as the original host of Wheel of Fortune. But after seven seasons, he asked for a raise and was replaced by Pat Sajak. The Kentucky native also hosted The Dating Game, Scrabble, and Greed. It's interesting to people. They love to win money and they love to have dreams. It's like lotto. You know, it's great. Later in life, Chuck hosted the Blunt Force Truth podcast. The 83-year-old was an outspoken conservative political supporter, raising eyebrows for pushing conspiracy theories about COVID-19 and a handful of anti-Semitic tweets. It's unknown how Chuck passed away, but his podcast co-host Mark Young says he was having trouble breathing, wasn't feeling well, and went to lie down. He is survived by his wife and three of his five kids. I mean, I have a wonderful family, I have a wonderful home, I, I make a great living, I love doing what I do. I mean, how bad can that be? 